We have all met bullies in our life, be it on the playground when we were kids or perhaps at our workplace. So we all know what bullies actually want. Well, they want you to submit or subscribe to their ideology. But then there are those who refuse to get bullied, who refuse to submit and who refuse to follow others' ideology. Karthik Aryan Tewari is one such man and Karan Johar is one such bully. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I am your host Tejasvi Malhotra and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story, in this video, I will talk about Karthik Aryan Tewari, a self-made superstar that even the Johars of Bollywood could not stop. Let's begin. Remember the controversy that erupted after Sushant Singh Rajput's demise? The speculations that the actor had to face a lot during his acting career in Bollywood because of the existence of nepotism had set the entertainment industry abuzz. More than six projects were cancelled, and why, you may ask? Well, that's because he wasn't a star kid and was all on his own. However, we have a self-made superstar in the industry whom even the Bollywood mafias couldn't stop. He is Karthik Aryan. The woke and liberal Bollywood doesn't really welcome those who are connected to roots and have faith in Hinduism. Surprisingly, Karthik managed to rise above all the hurdles and is now referred to as a self-made superstar. He was among the handful of celebrities who were happy with the news of the Ram Janmabhoomi dispute being resolved by the Supreme Court which had in 2019 sided with the Hindus. The ouster of Karthik Aryan by Karan Johar's Dharma Productions had raised many eyebrows. But not all were looking at a very straightforward reason for his sacking. Perhaps it is possible that Karthik Aryan was just too proud a Hindu and too nationalist and Indian to be part of the Dharma Productions. Subsequent to the military clash between India and China in 2020, Karthik Aryan had dissociated himself from a Chinese mobile brand Oppo. There have been other occasions when the man has not shied away from wearing his culture on his sleeve. Aryan is an outsider in Mumbai's film industry, which makes him all the more target of the nepotist like Karan Johar who made a career out of launching star kids alone. Once a voice of dissent in the deeply problematic Bollywood industry, Kangna Ranaut had written a scathing Twitter thread where she accused Johar of coming after a self-made Karthik just like the late Sushant Singh Rajput. Kangna said Karthik has come this far on his own. On his own, he will continue to do so. Only request to Papa Joe and his Nepo gang club is please leave him alone like Sushant doesn't go after him and force him to hang himself. Leave him alone, you vultures, get lost, chindi Nepos. The insider-outsider thing apart. If we judge Aryan solely on the basis of acting and box office performance, it can be stated that the actor has hardly given a flop or performed badly. He is garnering loads of love and positive feedback from the recently released Pool Bhulaya 2. The film has received the biggest weekend box office collection of 2022 and has earned 55.96 crore rupees. In Pyar Ka Panchnama, his character's four-minute monologue was one of the lengthiest single shots done for a Hindi film to that point. The way Karthik delivered the monologue, I doubt if any other actor could have done the same magic on the big screen. The actor since his first movie never looked back. From Pyar Ka Panchnama to Sonu Ke Titu Ki Sweetie and Pati Patni Aur Wo, Aryan's versatility knows no ends. Who would have thought that a boy named Karthik Tiwari from Gwalior would become a star in the entertainment industry? That too, without any guardian angel. Who would have thought an actor who is not a star kid will be able to survive in the industry where nepotism is the only key to success? Karthik Aryan, however, has proved them all wrong. Such is the talent of the national crush of India that even Khan's, Johar's and Kapoor's couldn't overshadow him, which further proves that talent needs no guardian, only the star kids do.